All across the country, reports of monthly premiums spiking because of Obamacare. According to a recent study conducted by the Heritage Foundation, a conservative think tank, Arkansas, Georgia, Arizona, Vermont, and Kansas are seeing the worst of it. Dr. Milton Wolf is from Kansas, and he's a board-certified diagnostic radiologist. He's also the Tea Party candidate who just mounted a primary challenge to Republican Senator Pat Roberts in that state, and he's President Obama's second cousin once removed. Good to see you, doctor. Thanks for having me, Gretchen, and congratulations on the new show. Well, thank you so much. Now, a lot of people watching are going to say, wait a minute, second cousin once removed from President Obama and... You're in the tea party? <laughs> you know, they say you cannot choose your own family, but you can choose to rise up and stop your family from destroying America. And that's what, I'm, that's what I intend to do. All right, so that is not a lighthearted statement. What do you mean by that? <laughs> well, you know, the sad thing is about Barack Obama, and I don't mean anything personal against him, but he doesn't understand America. At least he doesn't understand America, American exceptionalism. What makes America exceptional is that uh, unlike other countries around the world, our citizens are sovereign. You know, the, the power in America should reside in the, in the people. And our government needs to relearn its place as servant rather than master. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had a chance to tell him that? I understand that your mom and his mom grew up together in Kansas. Have you ever met the president? Have you ever been able to tell him you 100% disagree with him? <laughs> uh, in indeed, I have. I think there are probably few people in this, uh, in this world who have, have looked Barack Obama in the eye and, and stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and told him he's wrong. And he is wrong. He is wrong to not trust Americans with their own basic health insurance uh, decisions. He's wrong to think that the government should step in between a doctor and their patient. He's wrong to tell the, the mother who takes their, her young child into the ER at 3 a.m. in the morning that that doctor has to check with bureaucrats to see what treatments can be given. He, mm -hmm. he is simply wrong. So you decided you wanted to be the Tea Party candidate against uh, Kansas Senator Pat Roberts, uh, a Republican. Uh, he's been in that seat for quite some time, but it has something to do with the Health and Human Services Secretary Kathleen Sebelius, and you found it ironic that it was Senator Roberts who was one of the first to ask for her resignation because they were longtime friends, correct? Well, this is true, but I'll tell you what, I'll give you 17 trillion reasons why we need to replace every one of those career politicians in that Congress. That debt is crushing us and it's destroying our future. I'll give you 11 reasons why that has to include Senator Pat Roberts. That's the number of times he has voted to increase the debt ceiling. But I'll give you one reason why we need to replace Senator Pat Roberts today. If it was not for Senator Pat Roberts, we would not have Kathleen Sebelius as the head of HHS. Look, Kathleen Sebelius has been a disaster since she's been in Washington. But it should be no surprise. She was a disaster when she was in Kansas. Her heavy-handed government mandates on insurance chased several companies out of the state and left tens of thousands of Kansans without insurance. And you know, she also provided single-handedly, she single-handedly provided right. cover for the most prolific mass murderer in the, the Kansas state history, that being George Tiller, the mm -hmm. third trimester well, that, abortionist, who's yep. the Kermit Gosnell of Kansas. And a very controversial topic, about right her, it, it, and it, it I, was. And you know what? And we're going to hear more she, from her. And, 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 and Pat Roberts knew all of this before he voted for her. I'm, yeah, and I'm sorry to cut you off. I don't mean to at all, doctor. Uh, we're just tight on time. And she's going to be testifying uh, just 48 hours from now. So we will wait to hear how that goes. Uh, great to meet you, Dr. Wolf. Well, I'll tell you, you can tune into our website at MiltonWolf.com. And, and, you know, I'm not here to send a career politician a message. I'm here to send a career politician home. And your viewers can contribute, can get on our website, and they can help us get this job done. <laughs> you may be a doctor, but uh, you're a good politician already. You know how to talk. Uh, thanks so much, doctor. Well, new developments in a sensational murder.